Hi Reva fans, thank you so much for visiting my channel. Today we're going to learn how to glaze cabinets, either kitchen cabinets or bathroom vanity cabinets. Behind me here is we have a sample of kitchen cabinets that were painted and glazed. So let's begin. Okay, Reva fans, we are ready to begin our project, how to glaze cabinets. So um, I'm gonna go over the supplies uh, that you're going to need today. Um, so um, before I begin, this video is not sponsored uh, by any of these uh, uh, suppliers. It is just strictly my opinion and the products I like to use, okay? Uh, so first thing you're gonna need is some cleaner. I like to use TSP. Uh, you mix this with water, so make sure you have a water bottle sprayer. Uh, the um, bottle will tell you, you know, how to mix and how much you need. You are going to need some sandpaper, uh, either 220 or 240. Uh, 220 we're, we're gonna be using for today. You need some gloves. Couple of rags, one for cleaning, and the other one is going to be for the glazing part. You're going to need a roller, a paintbrush, a foam brush, something like this. You can get it anywhere near local hardware stores or smaller stores. I like to use risers. I bought these, uh, but you can use anything, any type of risers that you have, even wood if you want, but you just need something to lift it off your table. The paint is, I'd like to use, this is, you can get this at the Benjamin Moore store. Uh, it's a uh, rust scat. It is my favorite uh, trim paint uh, for uh, cabinets, uh, even trim work. Uh, so you're going to need semi-gloss for the cabinets. And then you're going to need glaze. The color that we are using today, this gets mixed for you. Uh, it's another brand by Benjamin Moore. Uh, it is called the Studio Finishes Acrylic Glaze. So they mix the color for you. Uh, this is my unique color that they uh, put together. It's like a little bit of like a mocha color. It's really neat. And um, I would also get, you know, uh, a paint paint uh, 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 pan here. Sorry, I've got a big one here today. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to sand down the cabinet. So here I have a cabinet. Make sure that all you take all your hardware off. This particular cabinet did not have any pools or anything, so it's gonna be a little simple. So um, just make sure that you know you take off your hardware. You can use gloves or you don't have to, but sometimes I, especially when you're glazing, uh, you're gonna want to use, uh, use gloves because it gets a little messy. It could get messy. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to sand this cabinet down. You do not need to fully sand it. What we need to do is just scruff it up. That's it. This paint is awesome. It, uh, it takes on good. So we're just making it a little rough, okay? You can use, I normally use a um, electric sander, but I wanted to show you guys in case you don't have an electric sander that this can be done by hand. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna scrub it up. Also make sure that you get all your sides. that this is a fun project it it does take a little time make sure you're patient with it you don't want to rush something like this especially if you're doing your kitchen or even the bathroom uh, this is a simple small vanity so we don't have a lot to do um, the vanity itself when you take your drawers off or the um, the cabinet you're gonna scrub up also that wood, you know, the main frame a little bit. Again, all we wanna do is scrub. Okay, so we got that all scrubbed up. Looks like that. So now we're gonna use our cleaner. Spray a little cleaner on and wipe it down. So I love this cleaner because it removes all the grease 
all the hand marks, anything that was on this is just said, I love the product. Compared to all the other stuff that I used, uh, this to me is the best. So it also removes, you know, soap scum, especially if it was in the bathroom. You just want to remove everything. And as we're doing this, if you have any questions or comments, please make sure that you put them on the comment field. All right. So now this piece is ready to paint. What I like to do is, obviously there's a front and there's a back. I always like to start with the back first. Um, and that's where the risers come in. So you put some of these down. Like that. And then put your cabinet. So now I'm going to start on the back. So get your roller out. And we're gonna go ahead and put our first coat in. I like rolling it. You can also use the brush, but the roller gives it an even, even coat. And of course, your first coat is not gonna, you know, cover a lot. But this paint does. I mean, it, like I said, it's 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 a really good uh, trim paint. And then why we needed the brush is on the edges right here. You want to get your paintbrush to get in there to make sure that all that is covered. So normally I do it on my first or second coat just to put a little paint there. Make sure you remove any excess extra paint. You don't want it to look clumpy or dry like that. Okay. So now we got that. Now let's finish our cabinet. Again, very simple. It's a fun project. Well, to me, it's fun. It's after, after you're done and the results are my, of course, anybody's really favorite to see. Okay, so now we're gonna, you know, paint the sides here. So just take your ruler and paint the sides. Sorry, it's moving a little bit. I should have put two more of the, uh, the risers. Okay, so now we have our first coat on and you want to let this dry. Depending on your temperature, where you're painting the set, it can take longer. Uh, usually the first coat takes anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes to dry, but this is what that first, oh, first coat's gonna look like. Okay, so again, we're gonna let this dry. Um, it, you probably would need two to three coats, depending on on the on the cabinet on the wood so um it can take a few hours you know just to just to get this all done uh, but just make sure that it's all coated and once this is completely dry then uh, once you're done with your two or three coats you would then flip it over and then do the other side of it okay so i made this easy for us today i have a, the other cabinet that I already painted. So this is three coats of that paint. So here's the front and then here's the back. Okay. So this is all ready for us to start glazing. Okay. Um, with the glazing, you only glaze the front area. And what I like to glaze, what looks really neat is glazing the creases. 
So anything that has a definition. So this right here in the middle is what we're going to work on glazing. Some people glaze the whole thing. Um, I don't care for that look. Uh, personally, I just like to give it, you know, the, the middle of it. It just kind of makes your cabinet stand out. It looks really pretty. All right, so we get our glaze out. Make sure that you mix it. You can pour this into a, a little container if you wanted to. Since this is just one small cabinet, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna dip my foam brush into, um, into the um, container. So get your foam brush ready. Um, I'd like to use, since these are just smaller creases, there's different size foam brushes, but because of the smaller, obviously a smaller cabinet here, we don't need anything big. You can use something like this, a smaller one, okay? So we dip it in, make sure that you remove some of the axis off. Okay, so I'm gonna try to stand this up here. So you're just gonna pour or uh, brush on the glaze. And I, like I said, I'm gonna do my creases there. You could be generous with the amount you're not going to do any damage because we are going to wipe it off. So take your cloth that you're going to be using to wipe off the glaze and just do a quick wipe. Okay. So here it left a little mark there, which I wanted and it left some here, but I'm not satisfied of how much there is. I want more on it. So again, like I said, you can play. I wanted you to start off with it not having too much so that you can play around with it. Uh, because that's really the only way that you will learn. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to start working on my next line here and then here. The reason why I'm doing this so that the glaze can sit for a little while and I can play with it a little more. Okay, so got my glaze on. And now I'm, I am going to put it down. It's much easier to work the glaze when it, when it's flat. So I'm going to take my cloth here and I'm just going to do that. And like I said, we go back and we clean it up wherever you don't want that glaze, go ahead and remove it before it dries. This is going to dry a little, a little glossy cause it is glaze which is fine because we used a semi, a semi, um, a semi uh, gloss uh, paint for this project. Okay. Again, play with it as much as you want because the way it's, when you do this, it's gonna dry that look. So I like it a little dirty on the sides, just to give it a little older look. But everybody, you know, if you don't like that, you don't have to do that. And just keep on cleaning it till you're satisfied with the look that you're trying to achieve. Okay, so we got our first cabinet glaze, and this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. So that is glazed on the corners. So now you would let this dry. You would, I uh, recommend that you let it dry overnight. That way it's fully dry. Um, some people do not put a, um, a seal on it, meaning like a top coat, because with the, with the trim paint, there's already a primer in there. There's a top coat on there already. They are, you know, used for either kitchen or for bathroom. So it's easy, you know, cleanup. But when you use glaze, what happens, the glaze can wear out in time, like a year or so, it would start leaving. So if you wanted to protect your glaze, then you would use a seal coat. 
what I recommend you using is uh, whatever brand you know you like. I like uh, Minwax's uh, the Poly Acrylic. Um, you can use um, uh, matte. So the finish is going to be matte. The reason being is because this is already semi gloss. If you use a semi gloss on top of this, it's going to be really, really shiny, and you don't want to do that. There's a satin as well. Satin I normally use if I use chalk paint, but with a semi-gloss trim paint, you definitely want to go lower. So use a matte finish so that it can stay the same, uh, which is really nice, easy cleanup as well in case you get something on it, and especially in the bathroom, a toothpaste or soap, um, you want something to, easy, uh, to have it easy cleaned up. So this is just the corners being done. If you wanted to do more on, like cover the whole corner, you can. Again, that's your look. You play with it. It can be removed. Uh, so make sure that you have your cloth. You want to work fast on that as what we just did, because once it's dry, um, it's it's going to be start. It's going to going to be harder to you know to remove. So this is our first lesson on how to uh, glaze cabinets. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more different techniques of doing things and some DIY projects. Um, also, please make sure that you visit us on Facebook at Riva Chic. That's R-I-V-A-C-H-I-C. -I -I um, you, there you can see photos of some before and after shots of things that I've done or even for customers that um, we've done. Again, if you have any suggestions, uh, things that you would like to maybe see that I'm not covering, please leave them on the comments. I'm also going to leave on the description of all the products that I use today. And again, uh, none of these uh, products have been, this is not a sponsored video. It is my personal use, what I like uh, to use, uh, my opinions. Um, so you can use whatever you like. So anyways, Thank you again so much uh, for visiting us and I will see you next time.